In this example, we want to find the limit uh, of this function as x approaches 2. Okay. So in this case, our function is what's called a piecewise function. So um, when x is not equal to 2, uh, we're going to get the value of y equals 1. Otherwise, if x is equal to 2, the y value is 0. Okay. So to get an understanding of this function, let's, uh, let's look at the graph of this. Okay. So, so when x is exactly equal to 2, uh, it's going to be uh, equal to 0, which means at that point it's going to be on the x-axis. Okay, so let's just put in some points here, or let's put in some grid marks. So 1, that's 2, and 3. So when x is 2, uh, the y value will be 0. So let's indicate that here. Okay, and uh, everywhere else, okay, we're going to get the value of 1. Okay, so let's call this 1 and then I'll just call this 2 as reference. Okay, so we're going to have a line, a horizontal line, go through this point. Okay. Okay, and then right here, okay, there's going to be a jump. Okay, so this is not. Oh. Let's see, so there's going to be a jump here. Okay, so this is actually there's an open point here. Okay, so this is y equals to one. Okay, so it's going to be y equals one uh, for every value of x except two, and then when it gets to two, the value of y will be zero. Okay. So the limit, okay, so the limit of this function as x approaches 2, okay, actually is going to turn out to be the value of 1, okay, and to, so the way you think about this is that as you, okay, so think about this as a road and you're driving along this path here, okay, so as you're, right, as you're coming along this point, okay, think of the, uh, the circle as a stop sign, so as you're, as you're driving along, okay, as you're driving along here, you're getting closer and closer to the stop sign, okay, and that stop sign is located, it has a y value of 1, okay, that's what, the, that's what you're approaching, okay, same thing on the other side, okay, as you're approaching this direction, okay, you're getting closer and closer to uh, that stop sign, and that stop sign is located at 1, okay. All right, so the limit here is not going to be equal to zero, okay? It's actually going to be equal to one, okay? All right, so so we can write this out, right? We have two, we can look at the left and right-hand side, okay? So the limit as x approaches two from the left side of our function, okay, is going to be one, okay? And the limit as x approaches 2 from the right side is also equal to 1. Okay. So the left hand and right hand limits are equal. Okay. Therefore, the overall limit as x approaches 2 of our function is equal to 1. Okay. All right. So you just you have to think about this carefully. Okay. So think about again, think about as you're as you're moving along the graph, okay, it's and you're getting closer and closer to the limit point, okay, to the limit. Um, and you can think of that as a stop sign. So you're getting closer and closer to the stop sign. Okay, so it's what you're approaching, okay? And whatever wherever that is, okay, whichever y value that is located, that's the value of the limit. Okay. Alright, so you have to be really careful of these, especially with piecewise functions.